Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about should women wear zit zit? This question sometimes arises because the traditional practice on the subject of zit zit and the tassels is that women aren't supposed to wear them according to the traditions. But as we know, many traditions are not actually consistent with the law and they often do not actually come from the law. There is a question, though, that does arise from the law, and that is in Numbers 1538. In Numbers 1538, Moses is being told to speak to sons of Israel. Some people have looked at this passage and looked at this wording and have concluded that, well, since it says sons of Israel, maybe it doesn't apply to women. Maybe it only applies to the men. However, we should look elsewhere in the text to see how this wording is applied in reference to other commands as well. There are actually many other instances where a similar wording occurs. For example, in regard to issues of clean and unclean. When we're being told in Leviticus 11 regarding clean and unclean beasts, it uses similar terminology, sons of Israel. Also, in reference to the Sabbath command in Exodus 31, it refers to the sons of Israel once again. Also, in reference to the feasts as a whole, in Leviticus 23.2, it also refers to sons of Israel. I'm pretty sure that I have not heard anyone argue that the men are the only ones required to follow clean and unclean, or that only the men are required to follow the feasts. I have not heard anyone arguing this. I'm pretty sure that we all believe these commands apply to both men and women. And yet this similar wording also appears in reference to the tassels in Numbers 15. There's one other example of this that I want to draw attention to in Numbers 36 in reference to the daughters of Zelophehad. In this passage, the command being given is regarding a specific incident involving women. It involves women that received an inheritance of land and what the women are supposed to do as a result. Yet the command begins with a similar wording regarding sons of Israel. So here we have a command that explicitly is being directed to women, at least in case of this situation. And yet it uses the term sons of Israel. So as we can see, this command clearly is an example of sons of Israel being also applied to women. And we also have the Sabbath command, the feasts, clean and unclean, among others. This being the case, and being the case that Numbers 15 never says anything else regarding men or males or any other term like this, there isn't really any basis to say that it only applies to men. And in Deuteronomy 22.12, it doesn't say any of these things at all. It just says, you shall do. It refers to you rather than sons of Israel. And so, of course, you in this case, it's going to be referring to anyone that is seeking to follow the Torah. So should women wear zitzit? All of us are commanded to do the tassels on our garment, on our covering, which we cover in it. We are commanded to do them. If we are seeking to follow after the commandments, we should be doing the tassels on our clothes, regardless of whether we are men or women. If we are seeking to follow after his commandments, this is what we are commanded to do. Make sure that you check some of my other videos out 
about the tassels issues and about how it is that we are to do them on our garments rather than wear them as it's been traditionally interpreted. The command actually says that we are to do them on our garment and on our covering. So check those out in the description below. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you let me know in the comments what types of content you'd like to see more of in the future. And feel free to click on the like button and the subscribe button to let me know that you liked this video if you liked what you saw. Thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Shalom.